Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to continue the Korean campaign. So let's go for the takeoff. Oh, look, look at this, you two. Look at this beauty. Dragon Lady. That's amazing. And I'm quite surprised how short runway was enough for this aircraft to take off. It's probably of the glider like wings with very like high lift off. Okay, let's change. So for this mission, it's an interdiction mission. I show you the map. I'll be able to show you like the complete map. I'm going from Osan Air Base all the way to the east coast of the South Korean, where the enemy forces are. The North Korean forces already crossed the border, so my mission for today is the interdiction. I look at the briefing. My call sign is Panther 31, and the mission is uh, interdiction, so I should search for enemy targets, engage and destroy at will. Uh, for this reason, for this mission, I'm carrying uh, four Amrams. Two of them are the C4s, like you can see here. Two of them are the B variant. So two Bs, two Cs. And uh, for the air-to-ground find, I'm carrying the D variant of the Maverick in total number of six. So let's go for the takeoff. Panther 3 Osan Tower, hold short landing aircraft. Okay, I can see the aircraft coming from. Okay, coming from here. And there is also Wingman behind me, I can see. Panther 3 1 Osan Tower, position and hold, runway 26. Okay, Panther 3 1, runway 26. Always waiting if the takeoff clearance for my wingman. It's like this runway is built up to allow takeoff for two ship formations all the time. And I'm getting clearance after the number two is on the runway. Okay. Enter 31, copy, cleared for takeoff, depart heading 175. Depart heading 175. Okay, so I'll be turning left after the takeoff. Okay, enter 31, airborne. Altitude, 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 altitude. I'm gonna cut off the afterburner already. I need to save as much fuel as possible. This will be slightly longer flight than, than usual. Okay, let's fly to 175. That's it. Panther 3 1 Osan departure, resume on navigation. Panther 3 1, copy, resume on navigation. So Panther let's head directly Osan to steer point 2. Okay, that's it. And let's climb. Ok, 
Okay, I can select the program for the countermeasures. Lights off. Jammer on. Faster arm on. And I'm going to power to the six Mavericks. Ready? Let's check the situation around the aircraft. Okay, no threat. Let's check the picture. Okay. Bingo fuel set for 2500. Situation is pretty nice around us. So that's the configuration I'll be flying this mission. So the inner pot or hard point carries one Maverick. There is you are you are unable to put like more Mavericks onto this pylon. Then there is like two Mavericks. You can see there is a rail for the third one, but probably it's too heavy for this hard point to carry like three Mavericks on this hard point. Then there is the C variant of the Amram. So this is the C on the and on the wing tip there is the B variant. You can see the difference between the B and C variant of the Amram even from outside. The B variant at the wing tip has like very sharp edges of the control surfaces. Let's say like these small wings on the missile. The C variant was designed to be to be mounted into the internal base of F-22 and F-35 and so on. That's why these control surfaces are slightly shorter so the missile is able to uh, to be inserted or put into this internal base. That's that's the only reason for this shape. But the overall, like the engine, the seeker, some other electronics are definitely more advanced on the C variant. Check a couple of targets. I hope all of them are friendly, but I need to be sure. Okay, this guy's here, 25,000 feet. Okay, I don't expect this mission to be uh, hard. It should be quite quite easy mission. Ideally, I would like to launch all uh, six Mavericks during one pass over the target area. I don't want to uh, fly there like uh, multiple times over the target area. It's not very healthy. So, <laughs> so usually one pass and that's it. I can see there is a slightly cloud layer below me. I don't know the altitude of these clouds. I don't uh, notice that during the when I was crossing this cloud layer. But hopefully there will be a gap over the target area so I can launch my Mavericks from, let's say, 15,000 feet. I don't want to be anywhere lower. Definitely, if you if you don't have to never fly below 7,000 feet because basically all the manpads, I mean the infrared missile systems, launch it from the from the shoulder by the by the infantry. It's usually the ceiling of the 7,000 feet, so definitely need to be higher than this. Otherwise, you are in a big, big risk of being shot down by, I don't know, some SA-7, SA-14, Stinger, and other unpad systems. Okay, I'm in uh, 21,000 feet, which is pretty okay, sitting over 400 knots, which is also perfect. Let's now accelerate a little bit more. I'd like to be on maybe 20, 130, something like that. Be ideal for me. Further flying. Let's call the Man closer to me. 
You can see the afterburner chamber at the end of the nozzle. These are the stabilizer of the flame inside the engine. They are static all the time. The turbine itself is behind it, so you can't see it through this afterburner chamber. I don't see the wingman here. He is slightly further away from me. Okay, looks like the clouds are ending here, so might be great for me to be able to launch my Mavericks from a decent altitude. Anyway, I'd like to thank you in this video to Space AE8 LV, pretty strange nickname, <laughs> my buddy, about the uh, payway fix for me. If you remember correctly, I was uh, trying to destroy a couple of bridges in the first videos of this campaign, and I wasn't very accurate with the payway. And uh, I've got a, a really nice advice to set the spacing uh, uh, to zero when using the the payway, basically because it's a separation between the drop point and the exact impact point of the of the or, or the target when you are illuminating the target, the spacing between the the illuminated target and the actual impact point of the of the payway or any, any any other bomb doesn't matter. So you can set up the it's not possible to see here because I'm not carrying any freefall bomb or any GBU. But uh, basically, you are able to select this spacing. It's very useful when you are using, for example, Durandals against the against the runways, and you can select the exact spacing between, like, let's say, between uh, 12 Durandals or six Durandals, so you can cover all the all the runway, like really regularly by every, I don't know, every 200, 300 feet each Durandal will hit and you will press only once the trigger so you just press once and all the Durandals will be released in exact release point so they will hit exactly like you want onto the runway so that's, that's how spacing is very useful but it's not very useful when you are dropping the when you are dropping uh, GPUs, so you want to zero this spacing between the placed point and the and the impact of the of the GPU. So I was I was flying this simulator for over I don't know 11, 12 years, and I didn't know that I was I was trying to build up some uh, some training missions for the for the payways. I was trying to drop them from 10,000 feet, 15,000 feet, 18,000 feet, 20,000 feet, 25,000 feet, just to realize why the, the why the paveway always hits slightly next to the next to the target. It always fall like I don't know, couple of couple of feet next to the target, not not at the exact last point. So that's that's the reason. So again, space. AI eight LV, thank you for that. <laughs> it really, it really means a lot for me. Uh, not for this mission, but for the next one, I'm gonna bring up some payways and definitely try to zero that uh, that uh, spacing, and we'll try the accuracy of the of the payway. I was thinking that this must be some bug in my in my Allied Force installation, just because I'm using some mods, maybe. So I was thinking that this is the this is the cause of all these troubles. 
but seems like I was wrong, so... Okay, I'm getting already information about the enemy battalions. I'd like to hit uh, tanks, just because the tanks are the uh, most dangerous units for the South Korean forces. So I'd like to destroy them as many as possible. Let me check the situation. Okay, picture is clear. Uh, target was some uh, mechanized infantry battalion at zero to zero. Okay, zero one zero. I'm going to let my wingman to attack this target. I'm going to fly to this steer point three, then for steer point four, and I'd like to find there some uh, tank battalions. Definitely, there will be some of them. Chalice, one target is an enemy motorized rifle battalion bearing 010, 10 miles, clear hot. 010, 10 miles. That's too much. 010. 10 miles away, so must be closer than this. Okay, I can see a column in front of me on the radar. I can see it through the... Okay, there is a ground fire coming from that fortification. I'd like to hit some units on this on this way there are some of them on the steer point now I can see them already okay This seems to be the Okay, that's the end of the column. I still have like two Mavericks, so I'd like to use them on a different target. Okay, the AVAX is changing the targets quite quickly. I can see. Come on, come on, quickly, go, go down. It's very slow. I'm already over the target. Oh, okay, I missed it. Is this one here? Okay, it's just the crater. Look at this, they are shooting at me. Okay, I'm gonna turn back destroy at least two of its guns. 
so we are near that bridge. But I, I need to declare them before I open the fire on them. I just need to be sure that they are like enemies. You can see they are firing somewhere. It's maybe not enemy fire at me. Okay. Come, come, come on. Quickly, quickly go up. Oh, I can't see them. On. Seeker. Okay, there is something. Chalice 1, Panther 3-1, declare. Panther 3-1, Chalice 1, Panther is friendly. Okay. So, friendly unit. Check these units here. Hopefully these weren't, these weren't friendly. I wasn't declaring them. But I opened the fire. So hopefully I wasn't, I wasn't shooting at the allies. Okay, looks like Rifle. something... Rifle. Chalice 1, Panther 3-1, declare. Panther 3-1, Chalice 1, contact is bogey. Rifle. Rifle. Chat, flare. Passion, passion. Okay. Out of Mavericks, so let's climb a little bit. Chalice one, Panther three one, picture. Panther three one, Chalice one, picture clear. Okay, nothing here around me. I'm gonna patrol over the over the uh, front line just to be sure that nothing's there. Let me check the loadout by Bingman. Okay, seems like he's still having some fun, the ground units. I'm gonna let him shoot them. So I'm staying in this area around him just to provide him some cover from the enemy fighters. Let me scan the North Korean airspace. like nothing's in front of us. Rifle. Okay, he's shooting rifles. Rifle. There it is. And he should be Winchester already as well. Oh, he's attacking this. It's... Oh, these buildings. Oh, he was attacking this uh, gun. But unfortunately, he did this, uh, this building here. Not the exact target. Just compare this. Uh, this campaign, this Kangworks campaign, I'm able to penetrate the North Korean airspace without any problems. There is no, no bandits whatsoever. But in this Kangworks, I wasn't able even to to reach the Seoul, basically. It's full of enemy fighters. Okay, this should be a friendly one, unit. Panther 3 1, declare. Panther 3 1, Chalice 1, contact is friendly. Okay. Looks like there are no enemies around me. Let's fly like this over the North Korean airspace. 
at least I will help the other units to do their job. What a beautiful day we have here. In the distance, here below my hut, it, sh it should be the Coxan Air Base, where MiG 21s are expected to be. Let me check it. No, oh, it's this uh, Ioni Air Base, probably. The Coxan must be somewhere here. More west and north. You can see the SA-2s around this east east coast of the North Korea. They are covering each other and providing perfect cover the airfields which are east coast. This airfield here is uh, name Umni. Slightly further to the north, there should be the Koksan. Somewhere here, I expect it to be on this peninsula. So I'm currently sitting on 3,500 pounds of fuel, which is still okay. In 24, 20. Five almost thousand feet, quite far in the North Korean airspace, but I just wanted to check whether there is some bandits or not. Active SA-13 below me, but it's not a threat for me. It's the infrared missile with, uh, I don't know, the ceiling is like something like 12 or 13,000 only, so I should be okay. Okay, I can see the Coxan distance. It's the Coxan. Slightly further. I was expecting it to be here and it's here on this peninsula. So this is the Homni airfield. I'm just crossing it. Flying over it, and I can see something flying in 12,000 feet just south of the Coxan, which is heading south. This might be a bandit. Su 25, perfect. That's the perfect opportunity for me. So, I have to make sure that this SU 25 won't reach the line, basically. This SA-2 on the HSD is covering the Coxan airbase, so you can see that this SU-25 probably took off from this Coxan right now. And there is another contact behind it, also in 12,000 feet. This might be either the Wingman or MiG-21, for example. Panther 3 1, Chalice 1, contact confirm hostile. ID is 225. Okay, it's the. So I just going to make sure that uh, none of this aircraft will, re will reach the south. I'm just comparing the range of the. Uh, C4 and the B Amram. Looks like it's uh, 
almost the same. I don't see any difference there, so I'm gonna ask my wingman to destroy this contact here. I don't want to use the afterburner yet. I just need to make sure that I have enough fuel, if necessary. Still 3,200 pounds of fuel. So this target will be picked up by my wingman. Confirm that. Okay, gonna select the secondary target. Box 3. Oh, MiG-29 appeared, so I need to reassign the target, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer for my Amram to hit this SU-25. I need to make sure that this is a hit. Three, two, one. Pitbull. Okay. Now let's try to find these MiG-29s. Okay, there they are. 25,000, so they are quite high. Okay, there are like four ship formations, so I need to ask my wingman to attack this guy here. Oh, my wingman is flying somewhere else. So one of these MiG-29 will survive, which is not great. Okay, a couple of splashes here and there. Okay, another splash. No, oh, he's flying away. He's not going to help me. I don't know why. It's not a good situation for me. Five miles, twenty-four thousand. So they are <laughs> very close to me. I don't know why my wingman is flying in 5,000 feet currently, completely away from the shooting 1,000. Say again, say fuel. One thousand. Oh my God. I don't know what he what he did, but. Uh, he burnt all his fuel, basically. Panther 3-2, Panther 3-1, weapons check. Panther 3-2, 4, radar. Fuel state, 1,000. Okay, I'm not going to send him to clear my 6. I'm gonna send him to return to base. Panther Just because he's flying on very low amount of fuel. Don't engage anything. Looks like he's in dogfight with uh, Nick. Okay, that's him. 
there suddenly appeared one MiG-29 spike exactly at the same place like my Bing Ben, so it's like he was attacked by a MiG-29, which is now spiking me. I can see him. Five miles, okay. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. Oh. Very unfortunate mission. I don't know why my, why my wingman was like uh, flying that way. Before Amrams. Okay, let's see the outcome of the mission. I hope I was able to shoot down that, or at least damage that SU-25 and shoot down that uh, three MiG-29s. Okay, I was rescued, three kills. SU-25 destroyed and MiG-29 damaged. That's <laughs> that's interesting. Usually just the SU-25 is uh, damaged, not destroyed. But one of the MiG-29s survived and these were destroyed. Okay, so... Pretty good result. Okay, I, I killed one soldier with AK-47 with a Maverick. That's the overkill, basically. And a heat bunker, bunker, damaged. Okay. So the result is excellent. Partial success, pilot rating excellent, we are okay. I was shot down by the R27T, which is the infrared version of the R27. That's why I wasn't warned by my RWR. Look at this MiG-19 MiG or MiG-17 or whatever it is. <laughs> Quite. Okay, AI mission. Maybe I'm going to fly this mission, but I'd like to destroy these fortified positions with the cluster bombs. Let's save the progress. Is the naval strike forward aircraft controller? Okay, naval strike again to this part of North Korea, and again this BAI mission. to do what to fly. We let's focus on... Let's check the bridges first. Okay, that's okay. Okay, there is a functional bridge and functional units, so I'm gonna fly here at package. It's a C50 or C40, C40. C-36 opposite, and uh, we are going to destroy these self-propelled guns, that's okay, so I'd like to... Oh, what? Let's cancel this uh, naval strike. Completely useless. Let's focus on self guns. And I'm going to destroy the bridge as well. The bridge will be my private target. The other units will be attacking the. Still able to create the package. Okay, here we are. Four aircrafts. That's really huge, perfect. So let's check the ammo. Okay, we will be flying with uh, six Mavericks, each of us, but I'm going to select the air to ground. I'm going to try this uh, CBUs, GBUs. That's it. Like this. I'll be slightly heavier. 
other aircrafts. Let me quickly check how many, how many vehicles are here. It's like 50, 55 percent. Okay, plenty of targets still. I was thinking that I, I wouldn't take the uh, Mavericks with me, but seems like uh, it'll be still not enough. And the uh, bolt slightly south going to my target as well. Steer point up bridge, so I which bridge it is. Oh, this is also functional, so maybe, maybe I'm going to destroy this bridge as well. Priority is the bridge number five. Secondary target for the second GBU is the bridge number four. But nobody should be crossing it just because this bridge here is destroyed. Okay, this seems to be like the last unit here, so maybe if I move my units slightly north, like here, and this unit here as well, just to recapture this, uh, this military base, I should be okay. Maybe let's capture this uh, here. strategic post. Okay. Let's save it here and I'll be flying this uh, mission in my next video. So guys, uh, that's all from my side for today. This is SU-25. Okay. Thank you for watching. As always, have fun, take care and bye.